Mm. All right, what is up, everybody? So, we are here at uh, Leesburg Skate Park, and we have a special little treat for you today. Uh, basically, I'm gonna try all the different sole plates that I have and see which ones I like best. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Uh, I have been going through a massive skate crisis over these past years. I've basically got it dialed down to what boot I like, to what frame I like, and there's so many different sole plates to choose from. So, Josh and I both are gonna go ahead and give these a go. Uh, lost my train of thought. Fuck. <laughs> okay, so any, we, so basically we're gonna give these a go. Uh, we're going to test them out, see which ones uh, kind of slide the best, which ones fit the best, which ones have the best Royale angle. We'll test, uh, we're gonna basically do five tricks on each uh, soul plate. I've got five different soul plates to choose from and we'll give them a rating one through five on each uh, category and then at the end of it decide which one is the best or which one skates the best or which one we enjoy the most. I'm sure we're both gonna have very different opinions uh, and that'll be great but ultimately this is for me so it'll probably be the one that I end up skating for ever <laughs> until another good one comes out but anyway uh, let's go ahead and get these all set up and we'll start skating. Well, it's not set in there perfectly. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Right now we are rocking the Seba plates. So Josh is rocking the camo Seba plates on the factions. Uh, I've got the white Seba plates on my factions. Or no, on my Sebas. I have the white Seba plate on my Sebas. <laughs> Seba Seba! Seba Seba. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start out, we're gonna do five tricks. Uh, a soul grind, a Mizu, a, ro a front royale, a back farve, and if you can do it, a negative mistrial. Just yep. so we can feel the negative. We'll, we'll I think you that. should give it a try. <laughs> yeah, well, I've never right. done it before, so why don't I do it today? All right, Josh, so which trick are you going for first? Uh, I'm gonna do a soul first. Okay. So we'll, start, we'll so we'll go. I guess we'll do. I don't know. We'll figure this out as we go. Um, talk about the fit of these plates real quick. So I feel like my boot. So this is a boot size nine and a half faction. Um, what size were these plates? Forty one. The four. They're forty one, forty three. So they go. Forty three. So you're those. You have a forty three shell in the faction. They're a little snug. It took a little bit to get some of the bolts in. Probably could have um, used a little bit of modification. It, it, it might be slightly in between sizes. I think that it, it fits. The boot might overhang. It seems on the front uh, a little bit. Um, I mean, obviously they're not made for the skate, but like as far as the fit, I mean, you, you have to modify it. It's not a perfect fit. So you could definitely tell that these so were no not made for So no need for modification. It fits, but modification would be suggested. Just a little bit just to make it a little more snug so and we'll easier. So we'll give it like a two. Sure. A three. But it's kind of unfair to do that because, well, to, to have that part of the rating system. Uh, well, there's some, made, place, there's some plates in here you will not need to modify at all. Right, but I, I don't know what, in the manufacturers, like when they're making these, if they're necessarily hoping that so many different boots are going to be able to use it. Like, because I don't, I don't know if designers are creating their frame, their sole plates. They're not, but maybe they should. Maybe they should. Well, this one doesn't fit too great. So. You know. Anyway, and a squeaky. All right, so what are we doing? Sole, sole grind. Sole grind. Feel. Uh, it's lit. It, uh, it, it definitely is not slow. Sure. <laughs> right, what now? Uh, so Mizu. Mizu. Okay. That one looked nice. It's all good. It's a, it's a weird feeling. The plastic feels very light when you're driving. Yeah. It's definitely a different material. I mean, it's not weird. It just it just feels like it feels like there's almost like nothing there. It's kind of weird. Um. All right. What was the next one? Far. Back far. Back far. That one was all right. You want to do another one? 
Do you do everything going from this direction? Uh, actually, a front royale would come back the other way. Okay. Back royale would go that way. Back royale. trial. So do it like you do a front roy, but you know. <laughs> you go one more college try and then. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I did a back rolling, so I did five yeah, checks. Yeah, right, it's fine. <laughs> all right, so how they slide? What would you give them? One they, and five. For sliding, I give them a four. Okay. Four and a half. There was no problem is, sliding. What would constitute five to you? That's a good question. Um. Like, what's not perfect about the slide? I don't know, I feel like on the back far, that in the back slide plate, it slowed it up a little bit, but on the soles on the bottom of it, it, it slid without any problem. So, okay. if I didn't have that little bit of catch on that, probably would have been five. Okay, cool beans. Uh, and what was the other criteria? Uh, Royale angle, how was the angle on that? How'd that feel? Uh, it was, was it like natural or? I noticed your foot was a little twisted on the front far. Yeah, I think the the placement is just slightly different from what I'm used to on the uh, on the faction sole plate. So mm -hmm. I mean, that's going to be one of the main things for me on all of these is obviously all the You're plate. Comparing it, the back slides are all in different places. So skating months and months of the same plate and then going to this, I mean, you, you have to kind of learn it next again. Few months. Yeah, and, and literally those were like the first time I did any of those. So like, <laughs> it's not like I've been skating this all day. It might be day. different on some of the other plates. Yeah, it, it, give me give me several more tries and I'd probably figure it out. It'd probably feel better, but that's right just bat. coming right out of the gate. Sweet, all right, my turn. All right. Are we good? We are good. All right, so Seba sole plate on the Seba skate. Uh, I mean, obviously it's made for the skate. So, you know, this is like a stock sole plate. This is kind of base so, zero so, for me. So from a fit and everything like that, obviously it's made for fit that. Fit obviously boot, is perfect. So. Um, yeah. So right. fit fits a five for this one. On this. On this. I, I would hope so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, so what trick are you doing first? Uh, I guess I'll start with the Mizu. Okay. This is the first time I've skated since I rolled my ankle, so I'm a little nervous. All right. Easy goes. Easy goes. You know, sometimes you just need to take a break and then come back and it clicks. <laughs> yeah. So that felt good. Um, obviously, I'm I've, I've so used to the, the faction plate. So uh, this is an adjustment for me, too, off the faction plate. <clears throat> Are you getting me or just my belly? I'm trying to get your head. <laughs> Bend over! <clears throat> Alright, so Mizu felt pretty good. Um, slid well. Nothing to write home about. Alright, go for a soul. Soul felt good. Yeah? Soul felt real good. My ankle's still tender though. That's worrisome. Back farve. Ooh. That was nice. It's 
stuck at the end, but felt good. <laughs> All right, uh, see Royale. <clears throat> I don't know why I'm nervous to do a Royale. I don't know why either. <laughs> it's slippery. <laughs> That was like more of a backslide. I had, uh, my, my, front, my front foot was there for moral support. <laughs> you want to try another one? No, I mean, I'm getting exactly what I want out of it. All right, I'm going to do a super slow negative mistrial. Okay, coming back the other way? Yeah. It's been a a year since I've done one of these. But I want to give the negative space a fair judgment. Oh God. All right, so that might not be in the books today. <laughs> <laughs> right? All right, let's try, okay, then we'll try a back Royale. Okay. <clears throat> also gonna be super slow on this one. Yeah, that ankle is tender. We got several more soul plates to go through, so don't uh, don't blow it. Don't, don't blow, blow my it. load. Yeah. That's why I have you here, <laughs> so I can do all the reviews. <laughs> <laughs> Dance monkey. Right. I was literally just thinking that. <laughs> oh. All right. I'm not gonna do the back roll just because my ankle. Okay. Um. The bark was good. All right. All right, so give us uh, give us the breakdown. So as far as slide, slide, I would actually give it a four as well. It's almost too slick. Like there's no, uh, you don't feel any resistance. It's very just go. It's go. The, the the material on this plate is harder than what I'm kind of used to. Uh, so yeah, it definitely goes. Angle, I'd give the angle a five. I think the Royale or uh, Favre angle was good. I got boot. I think I got boot down. Uh, I think you were boot down. Yeah, it was instant. Yeah. So yeah. Um, for the Sebas, was that a a five, a four, and a five? Yeah. <laughs> you kind of hope that from a stock plate, I guess. Do you do you get the same feeling of it being like a lighter sole plate? Like, is that? I feel like I got um, that out of my experience. I, I guess I think it's lighter. I don't feel it being lighter, but the the way it slides, the impact, uh, uh, the feeling of the grind feels lighter, and I think that's just the material. It's like a fiberglass or nylon or something like that. Yeah. Glass filled nylon, I think. Okay. Cool. Yeah, feels good. All right, one frame, uh, one soul plate down. One soul plate down. On to the next. All right. <laughs> All right, which one are we putting on? Symmetric. All right, Chris, what's next up? <clears throat> All right, <clears throat> now I'm on the symmetric plates. Um, so these are made by Adapt. Uh, people probably know these by Cody Sanders. He rides the Sebos with the symmetrics. I've tried them before, I really enjoyed them, but it's been a minute, so let's go through the motion. All right, so what's the first trick up? It's gonna be a Mizu. I'm gonna do it the same, the same way. Let's get it. <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> what was that? What was that? My God for? <laughs> that slide is ridiculous. Was it fast? It was fast, but it was like it was like ice, like liquid ice, which is water. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a, a form of water. All right. Like imagine ice with water on it. Imagine ice with water on it. <laughs> All right. That was. That was fast. I think 
I overwaxed the ledge, honestly. Blasphemy. It's, it's kind of nice. Yeah. Does that soul grind as fast as you're missing? Yeah, I mean, again, it was. Maybe it's different on a street ledge, but on this ledge, there's almost no feedback coming through the sole plate. Yeah. It's just slide. It might be because of that angle iron they got on there. Extra metal surface. But that's all we skate. So, yeah. You know, yeah. we're, we're kind of setting up for what we skate. We don't get out to the street much. The streets. That car. That was enjoyable. Yeah. Look at enjoyable. Yeah. Like, I don't want to give everything all five. <laughs> I mean. <clears throat> like I think maybe I set my bar too high. Maybe I should put everything down at like three. Maybe we set it too. Maybe maybe the criteria we set a little bit too low. <laughs> as far as what we're looking for. Maybe. I do want the audience to realize that we're doing all this for the first time. There's no practice in between. We're just going. Yeah, so yeah. This is <laughs> everything is FT. All right. Yep. First try. Please don't fall. <laughs> Fortunately, it's, it's not an NBD. So an NBD. Not been done. Oh, never been done. Or ABD. Already been done. Our, it's not an already been done. It's not an already been done. All right, all right. Royale. Let's do Royale. I want to do that one again. That one felt like shit. I think you should. <laughs> I think you should. I want to do a negative mistrial. I don't want to do a negative mistrial. I'm not doing it now, but. All right, Royale, here we go. Better one. Jesus. All right, so that feels weird. Something about it. I don't know what. I don't know if that's in my head. Or whatever. Let's do one more back far and then come back and try one more Royale. All right. God, back far feel good. That was buttery. That was buttery. The back fars feel good. It's too fucking early. Just so everybody knows, we were here at 7 a.m. Josh was here at 7 a.m. I got like 7.05. <laughs> I had to get coffee. The sun was barely up. Right? Just to create some content. We did this for you. We did it for All us. for you. All right, come on. Let's do a better Royale. A better Royale. Oh, that was so much worse. That was not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the universe does not want me to do a Royale in these. I'm gonna listen to it. And we've got more. Uh, Josh, can, yeah, we've got more. <laughs> Josh can do a Royale in these. All right, good. Yeah. You want you you want to try a negative or no? No. Okay. I'll stall a negative. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> Feels weird. <laughs> Negatives are weird. All right. Next All right. One. On to the next. Can't go on to the next, Chris, until we review. Yeah, true. All right. Speed. What do you think speed's of speed? Speed's a five. Speed, uh, speed's crazy five. Fit is a five-ish. Um, sole plate's a little thicker on this one, so you might need a longer bolt. I made it work, but I do wish the bolt was a little bit longer. The UFS bolts. For just something more secure. Uh, Royale angle, farb angle felt, felt great. Royale obviously wasn't working, so I'm not gonna push it, but uh, I'd give it a 10. No. Oh, snap. <laughs> no, I mean, I think I think this right now, this one's got flat fives. I mean, the slide maybe a four just because you don't get a lot of feedback 
through the plate. It's too smooth, I guess. And I said that about kind of about the Seba too. We should probably talk about look down at some point as well. <clears throat> now, granted, once again, these plates are made for specific types of skates. Yeah. So on the Sebas, the look down, you barely even see the plate. Like, yeah, I agree with that. Like it's, it's, you know. But if I come up to the edge here, you got a ton hanging out on the backside here of the uh, the negative, like a ton, like to the point where you can you can catch if you wanted to, which is. Not, not, I mean, obviously you never want to, but maybe if you were trying like your your little, oh, your little Machio jam, that little victorious oh, like just, Machio, yeah, that would be a you can just right kind of <laughs> mm, just just put your foot on there and hang out. Uh, same thing over on the sole on the sole side, it definitely sticks out far, and it's not like a lot of sole plates kind of taper down into that. This is like a flat shelf, mm -hmm. so. I, I could see that being a problem at some point in time, but All right. feels good. I mean, this is this is uh, as of right now, the symmetric soul plate's a contender for me for uh, for the top for favorite. All right, ten out of ten for Mr. Jenkins. <laughs> ten. Let's, let's see what Josh gives it. Alrighty. Now we are on, now Josh is on the Symmetrics. Okay, it looks nice on the factions. Fit was good, went right on, no problem at all. And uh, yeah. Yeah, and, so, and side note, so I'm on Create and I'm on 64 mil wheels. So that's gonna be a big thing for me is if some of these plates don't work with that setup, that's what I skate generally. Yeah, we've, we've so. run into that problem. We'll go on, we'll talk about that. In, uh, uh, I'm not a fan of this creamy, <laughs> <laughs> like wants I to don't be like it creamy. Wants to be translucent, but like white. I don't know. Yeah, the UH. So the Symmetrics are UHMW. Uh, so they're gonna have that kind of weird plasticky look. I see. Uh, I they see. don't. They don't look like normal soul plates. They have a, a funny look to them. And I see what you mean about like you have a shelf. Like yeah. you literally can just sit right on top of it. So it definitely, it's weird. It kind of sticks out a little bit. But all right. Well. What's on the to-do list? All right, let's go for Soul. 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 Oh, God. <laughs> Missed it. <laughs> you, you, I feel the shame for you. It's okay. That's a low lead. Should have done all mine on the taller one. <laughs> I don't need you judging me. Uh-huh. Truth. Slides really well. It's super slip. Super slippery. All right, let's do a uh, let's do a busy. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm already giving it a five for speed. That thing is fast. <laughs> <clears throat> Do a farve, then I'll come back and do a front side royale, and then I'll do a back side royale. Sounds good. Oh, oh God. Step on like a motherfucker. What was that? Yeah, you're doing that foot turn too far. I feel like I slid out of that one. Because your foot was like turned. I don't know if that was me. It was you. I don't know if that was me. <laughs> turn your hip, turn your shoulders. Try to come off fakey. See? I still didn't feel, I didn't feel locked in. No, you didn't look locked in, but it was better. Still better. No, no, but I'm saying from the review of the soul plate, I don't feel like I found that lock in. Oh, okay. Oh, 
coming back, Royale. That was nice. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it was about that back farm. I didn't feel like I, could, I got into a group. You want to try one more time? Yeah. Felt good for me. I don't know why it doesn't feel good for you. I feel like it's uh, it's up a little farther than I'm used to. The back so I pull it. That one was good. It, it's probably very small, but I feel like the backside plate is up just a smidge more than I'm used to, so it's probably why I didn't feel like I could get into the group. So that's weird because the faction plate is actually for, more forward than most. And dude, I'm like just a smidge. I mean, if I look at the create, like the, fa the, the faction plate lines up almost dead center. This one just feels just a little bit more forward. And who knows, it might be with the size of the plate itself That's true. on my skate, so maybe maybe the next size up would fix that problem, but... It actually be a size down. From that's, this? That's a large plate. So for the, for your size shell, you would actually probably want to go medium. No way. Yeah, adapts are weird like that. All right, so I give it a five for speed. It definitely was not lacking in the speed department. And I guess because that's probably because of the material it was made out of. Similar to my uh, anti rockers. Um, do you want to do you want to try to do your, your little macchio and, and use the shelf? Sure, why not? <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to use the shelf, but it is there for sure. It's not my macchio; it's Victoria's macchio. I'm just the, it's the solar home. I'm macchio. just borrowing it. <laughs> I you were flying there for I a wasn't second, bud. Expecting that speed! Holy crap! <laughs> Let's do one more. <laughs> Can I give it a six for speed? Does that count? <laughs> right? Yeah, Holy that's what I'm saying. Crap, dude. Like they're was, fast as fuck. I wasn't even going fast. Damn, that's scary. Slow it down. <laughs> I didn't get in it, but that's okay. Yeah, I mean. They're so fast. So not a good idea to skate these at the compound. I mean, you. <laughs> this is the perfect. These are the perfect sole plates for if you are learning like stalls and stuff. But just be aware the stall is gonna move. So you're basically <laughs> gonna grind at the end of it. But you don't have to have any speed with these things. Yeah, because I mean, now. I remember I remember doing a, like a a, a a Instagram reel or something like that where I was trying to go as slow as I could at the sledge, and it was on those plates. And I was a crawl, and I slid the whole thing. Yeah, I, I have no doubt. These things are these things are super fast. Um, so speed, definitely a five. Um, I'd, I, fit, fit is definitely a five, because you didn't have to uh, change anything, didn't have to do any altercations. It fits 64 wheels on my Create, so that's good. Um, I'm just not a fan of the look. I mean, the faction plates stick out a little bit. I don't know, it's just... I feel like it could get a little bit tighter, but the fact that they, they lined up, everything bolted in, no problems, I'm a fan of. Um, what, was, what was some of the others? Royale angle and everything like that, I mean. That felt good, like I said, on my, on my, on my back far, just for whatever reason, it felt difficult to get into the slot. Once again, that's just because I've never skated these before, so it takes some getting used to. But I'd say it probably it's a similar angle to what I'm used to. You don't have to go down very far to get into your Royale or your back far. So, I mean, overall, I'd give these a five. Ten. Yeah. So another another set of tens there. Nice. All right. All right. On the next one. All right. Chris is now going to be on the gods. Also, AKA the USD seven. Hold on. I'm in the shadow. You're 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 blocking my light, bud. Blocking <laughs> All right. Um, as far as like fit, like fit, in, these get go. a one. A one. Okay. A one. Why is that? Um, because they will not fit unless you modify. I spent like an hour or two last night dremeling out the edges to fit onto these plates. You can see, you know, around the back of the heel mostly, and uh, yeah. So they they don't they're not universal. 
at all. Not even close to universal. Have to be modified unless you're skating gods or unless you're skating like a USD carbon, I think. they Or the carbon free, I think they probably fit on those too. But the heel is super narrow, so it had to be widened to fit the Sebas or the factions too. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, I tried putting these on and the wheels, my CC4s, did not fit at all. It would need a lot of dremeling. We just don't have time to do that. So. Well, we have time to do it, but my dremel died. And, so it didn't have. <laughs> well, and it's also more modification than a person like me is willing to go through. Like at that point, I'm like, you know what? It's not worth it. Yeah. So unfortunately, Josh isn't going to be able to review these. So it's just going to be me. So, you know, take my opinion for what it's worth. <laughs> Well, luckily, we're putting these through the test of fairly straightforward grinds and tricks that probably Any, most people can most do. People, yeah. So, I mean, it's going to give a fair, it's going to be a fair uh, evaluation yeah. of them. All right, so All right, what's let's up? this bitch up. Mizu. Oh my gosh, this hat's making my head itch. Five good. Comparison to the others, right off the bat, this is like a three. Okay. It doesn't slide nearly as well, um, but it does have a little bit of resistance to it, so it's nice, you know. But you're gonna have to use more wax. It's not like the Symmetrics or the Sebas where you just walked up to it and was like, you just fly. So this might be better for, you know, a beginner to have that resistance and not fear. But remember, there's, good, there's probably going to be some modifications, so a beginner might not even want to go through that. Facts. Facts. And yeah, I have these because I got the gods. I loved this soul plate. Um, it's the only reason I ever rode these seven or the gods is because this soul plate is pretty great. So I'm hoping it feels a little bit better after that first grind. So buy, buyers beware if you're putting it on something other than what it was intended for. Yeah, 100%. Okay. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I'm a little bit underwhelmed. Okay. After riding the other ones. Like this isn't even like a media a mid ground between. It's like this is like one end of the spectrum almost. Okay. So so far maybe on the bottom end of the spectrum. So <laughs> far of the three that we've done. It's, it's still, I'm still giving it a three. Okay. All right. What's up next? Back far. Ooh. Oh my god. Ooh. I don't know if I'll boot down or not. Um, I couldn't quite tell from my angle. But if you don't feel like you were, then you probably weren't. You know when it you're boot down. I don't know. It felt weird. It felt weird. That was definitely a better experience than the Souls. Alright, let's try Royale and then maybe I'll try another Farf coming the other way. Alright. <clears throat> Yeah, I think I was boot down. Okay. But the angle on this is very forgiving. Okay. Like super forgiving. In, in what sense do you mean forgiving? Like it just kind of fell. I'm barely. In. I'm barely bending my ankle, and like. Okay. I'm down. Like I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to be down on this one. Okay. To be certain. <laughs> I was too boot down. I was boot down to the point where my frame came off the ledge, which caused me to eat my shit. You want to try again? I do. Okay. <laughs> I, th I think you need to. <laughs> you owe it to yourself to do it again. <laughs> yeah, I actually felt my frame like lift. And my foot just went. Whoo. So you were just riding basically on that backside it was, plate. It was all plate, no, uh, on my front foot. I mean, f from my vantage point here, it does seem like it's pretty. It's a pretty hefty backside plate. Like it, 
it's it's out there. Like it sticks up. Like I could tell. I could understand how you would just kind of get on it and not feel like you need to get that far down. But then, like you said, you're in that you're in that sweet spot of like, okay, if I go too far, then I'm gonna get, lift my frame off and then I'm gone. So. <laughs> yeah, like I was I was pushing into it and yeah, that was a bad idea. Now I just feel weird. <laughs> All right. All right. Did you? One more Royale. All right. I feel like with soul plates, that's the biggest thing to get used to is Royales and anything that you're boot down like that because everything is just slightly off and people might not realize that even if it's like a millimeter, centimeter off, if you're used to doing that trick over and over and over on one set of plates, it takes a minute to figure out where that that point is. Yeah, like this feels weird. So, once again, this is all for the first time for us, so we haven't been able to practice with any of the stuff. This is the first attempts with the plates on. <laughs> Unless you're... Unless you're like Chris and he's owned all these skates. Yeah, I've mean, ridden them before. And he's done them before. But never on this, yeah. never on this shell, I guess. For me, these are all new. And I hate change. <laughs> <laughs> so much. <laughs> it's the worst skate day ever. Yeah, right? I need to skate what I like. It's all brand new. Oh, that's right, that's right. The next up is the faction plates, so. Yeah, no, I'm gonna be happy with those. <laughs> Alrighty. One more Royale. Look good. Yeah, this is. Is it just the difference of the plate and not being used to it? Um, I suppose, but I don't like it. Don't like it. Okay. Yeah, this this plate um uh, might end up in that bin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's go. Let's go through the the so speed. You gave it three, Speed's right? A three. All right, fit and finish. Fit and fin fit was garbage. I mean, the fit is modified. Once modified. Honestly, it doesn't look too bad. It's a pretty good looking sole plate on here. Fits most of the contours. There's a couple gaps here and there, but I mean, it's it's not a bad looking plate, honestly. Okay, and then uh, what was the last one? A uh, boot down, like that angles boot. Uh... We all saw what happened there. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so so what do you what do you overall? What are you gonna give these? A, I'd give it a three. A three. Yeah. Two or three. Uh, even though I haven't been able to skate them, I'm going to give them a two just because of all the modifications that need to be done. Yeah. Uh, I that for 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 the amount of work it takes to get this sole plate on here, and the end results is not worth it. Got it. Yeah. New. I new, think that's new skaters beware. Yeah. Okay. You want to get a pair of gods or, or old sevens? Yeah, you, definitely. You'll be all right. You'll feel fine. You'll feel good. Um, but for a universal plate to go on to other skates, other flat boot skates, I mean, we've got the, the uh, standard boot coming out soon. That's going to be a flat. you got the adapts that are flat, the Sebas, the Factions, the USD uh, Carbon, Carbon Freeze. Um, I don't know. I can't think of any other ones that are out there. But there are other skates out there that are uh, the Gods is, is flat. Uh, the the US the, the Frankie Morales the gods both of those are both flat so you have a lot of options to choose from so on the Seba not worth it or a faction <laughs> yeah or, or I don't know he might have been able to if, if you didn't have such big ass wheels but I need those big ass I need wheels. those big ass wheels <laughs> <laughs> so all right on to the uh, the faction plates let's go <clears throat> All right. So now we're here in familiar territory, right? Yes, very familiar. So this is the original faction sole plate with extended wing on the back, which at first took a while to get used to, but now I don't even notice it anymore. Um, so yeah, this is what I normally skate. I've been skating for months now. So I should be able to lace every single trick without Coming any, up on a year. Without any problems. When did, the, when did the shreds come out? Was it early? February, I think. So yeah, like close what? to it. I mean, nine months. Nine months. Well, yeah, eight months, something like that. These are this is you're in you're in baby making territory. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is my bread and butter here. 
All, All right. right, so it's gonna be it's gonna be cool to see kind of like after you just put yourself through a test of like three different soul plates. I mean, it, once again, because I skate these all the time, it shouldn't be anything different. But I'm, I'm interested gonna, to see I'm, the I'm, slide. I'm excited to like see how you, how you feel the difference between go. You know, you've been used to that. You've tried something else. Now you're going back to your tried and true. So you're like. All right, where, where am I going to be at here? I'm curious of the slide because I've always thought that these were fast sole plates, but I didn't have anything other than the Aeons that I was on before, so that's not a fair comparison. So, yeah, I'm curious to see from a speed standpoint what these feel like. So uh, Directly off the symmetrics. Yeah, let's do, uh, let's do sole. Heard that. So, they're, they're, I feel like they're not quite as fast as the symmetrics, but they're I didn't feel like I was on glass, like I do on those symmetrics. Um, but, I mean, they're still super fast, so I give it a five for the speed. Uh, let's do Mizu. That looked like you were back at home on that one. Yeah, I'm like, I love you. All right, uh, back far, and then I'll come back and do a uh, front side rail. <clears throat> all right all right so i think it's safe to say <laughs> that uh comfort has a lot this to is a this is a uh this is this is a solid plate for you i mean you just kind of ran ran a train up on that ledge i mean everybody obviously if you're gonna skate a plate for a while you're gonna get used to it you're gonna know where it needs to be so that's obviously where i'm at but from a speed i give it a five um, one thing I want to point out fit is the five. Well, the, well, one thing I want to point out about fit is you've got the additional space at the front where it's actually cut out, so that way you can put a taller wheel, so I can ride my 64s. Um, the little the screws. The fact that you've got more connection points, so it's not just held on. So all the other plates were only held on by your frame bolts. These one have six, eight, eight additional small connection points which I think makes it feel like it's part of the skate not that these any of the other ones necessarily felt that way but like on tricks like soles where you're, you're kind of rolling your ankle and pushing putting pressure on the outside you could definitely feel just a little bit of flex not a ton but a little bit whereas these it's it, you're on the skate like they don't move whatsoever so I like that yeah I, I, for these faction ones I give it a 10 all the, <laughs> yeah. five, so all the way across so Stock sole plate works for some reason. It does, and I mean, obviously, it's meant for the skate, so you know, it does what it's supposed to do. And ironically, even though that there have been people that complain or have made comments about the outside, like from a look down, like it's pretty snug to the boot. You and, don't see unless you're turning around. Yeah, to look and you at can't it. see the back, so like I feel like it's, just, it's obviously doing what it's supposed to do, designed for the skate. So, Word. yeah, good. Word up. That works. All right, we're back. So now, Chris. Is now you're obviously on the Seba. Yeah, Seba with the faction plate. So <clears throat> I remember uh, going to the compound, and Clark was testing the faction plate before the faction boot came out. He had it on a pair of Sebas. So this plate, obviously designed for the factions, has kind of always fit <laughs> the Seba because that's what Clark was riding prior to the factions. Oh, really? I didn't even know that. Yeah. So. You were there, weren't you? I, I wasn't in depth in that conversation, so I, I don't. I, I wasn't thinking about what he was skating at that time. Yeah. But I, I mean, I guess that makes sense. So I mean, he had that starting point there. So I mean, obviously the fit is. It would be a five. It would be a five. I'm gonna give it a four and a half, only because, and this is tedious, is because it doesn't allow this piece to fit. You have to take this off or remove a screw so that it'll raise up. I like having that on my skate. 
because I think it looks ugly without it because it's just two holes on the side of the skate. Um, but it would be nice, and I don't want to modify the plate at all, so I just let it sit up. Okay. So that's all. Cool. So it made 4.9. 4.9. 4.9. Almost. It loses 0.1 point. Once again, it goes back to the fact that plates Stop. are made for certain skates. Yep. So you need to be aware when getting a different skate, a different plate from a different brand that you might have to modify some stuff. Yeah. Like even the Symmetric like wasn't a perfect fit. It no. was a little bit, You can. it was almost on like the heel or like the toe. It's like just a smidge rubbing. Mm -hmm. Not a big deal, but it was still a thing. Yeah. <clears throat> All, All right. right, so it's first up. Mizzou's. Mizzou. Now, obviously, you've been skating this plate as well, so yeah. So also, I want to mention, I don't have the little eight rivets. Yeah. Or the eight screws to better connect the plate. The plate is only sandwiched between. The frame and the UFS bolts. So I don't have that connection that you have on the factions. I don't really feel it, to be honest, but maybe that's just because I'm not as in tune <laughs> with my skate. Um, but yeah, it felt good. It felt a little slow at the end there. Definitely wasn't a uh, Symmetrics slide or even really the Seba plate slide. But it was better than the gods. It was better than the, the seven, without a doubt. Okay, so for speed, what would you give it then, for speed? I'd give it a four. Four, okay. Four, but that's not a bad thing. Yeah. Like, maybe the other ones, maybe, this, maybe the speed on this should be like a four and a half, the other ones should be like a four because they were actually a little too fast at times. Or maybe that we've sc scraped off all the wax yeah. from just doing this one ledge. That's true, we have not waxed it yet. Not yes. since the beginning, Yeah. so. But I don't want to because it was yeah, scary no, at first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's bad right. enough speed. So let's do a soul. Oh, God, that felt really good. That looked good. That was the best soul of the day so far. I would have to say it probably was for sure. Once again, familiarity. Yeah, and the, the slide felt a lot better on that one. So I definitely, the Mizu didn't slide as good. That soul slid a lot better. So maybe it was just me on that first one. That's why we're doing multiple tricks. Right. H block and And I'm it. doing on both feet. So it's like my Mizu's this way, but my soul's this way. Right. My Farb is this way, my Royale's this way. So I'm really... All over the place. So <laughs> both your skates are getting equal amount of love, basically. Correct. Yeah, correct. Yeah. <clears throat> Skate love. <laughs> love right, your back left Farv. about this plate. Oh my god, I almost died. <laughs> there is something to be said about this plate. Like... <laughs> now, I will also say, plates also have a lot to do with uh, the frames that you're you're rocking to, so I'm on Create Originals, which will line up perfect for a faction frame, in my opinion, and a lot of people's opinion. Chris is on Creates right now also, so, you know, it might be a little bit different, um, depending on what's type of frame you're skating and where that H block is, how deep the groove is, all that kind of stuff. So just extra stuff to keep in mind, but I feel like creates were created for faction. Creates are made for grinding. But okay, so Clark made a grinding skate. Yeah. And yeah. Without that, and factions are made for grinding. Yeah, like for I know Eric Michael does all this crazy stuff. Jimmy does all this crazy stuff. But the, the skate is like it's a grinding, <laughs> yeah. like it's it's, great. it's what it's for. All right, so Royale I've had a, had a couple. This hasn't been a good trick for me today, so let's see how this works. God, it worked well. <laughs> uh, yeah, dude. Uh, faction plates are whoa, my woo. Faction plates. Pack the the V1 plate. Yeah. Yeah, it's. <laughs> what can you say? <laughs> what can I? What can I say? I mean, you saw Josh. You saw me. Everything was just better. Granted, yes, we've been skating these more, and these are familiar to us more than the other plates. 
But I have no doubt in my mind that if I went back to the other plates right now, I would it wouldn't be much of a difference. It wouldn't the change wouldn't be. It'd be this plate feels this way, this plate feels this way, this plate feels this way. Right. And that's cool the fact that it's on a completely different brand skate as well. So I mean like I feel like that says a lot. The fact that it's not on a factory, yeah. it's on a set. The look left, down so. is the look down's the same. You know, you have a little bit sticking out on the edge here. The wings obviously there. The you can see more of the frame or more of the sole plate on these skates than you can the faction. So the look down on the faction boot is a little bit wider. So I mean, but it's who cares? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Should we try? I want to do one more trick in these you before I switch. Let's do it. What are you gonna do? I don't know. Damn. <laughs> butter, butter, butter. Right. Like, like, how can you not love that? Yeah. All right. It's like I almost don't want to take these off. Right. Like, I just want to go skate now. Well, we got one more right, set of plates to do. One more set of factions. The new one that... I don't think I've seen anybody review these. Um, I think maybe Ben and I roller boot might have commented on them, but I don't know if anyone's ever done like an in-depth. Are you still review. doing your review? Uh, I'll probably do a version of it. Yeah, I mean we're we're doing okay. some pretty good work here. So yeah, Josh is definitely gonna he's about to swap onto his other ones. He's just gonna switch the plate. Um, this is the first time I've ever doing this, but click the link right here. And you can see Josh's video. Hopefully that comes out at the same time as mine. <laughs> <laughs> we shall see. <laughs> but anyway, let's. Throw these on. All right, next up. What the hell? We'll wait until he's done with that until we can chit chat. All right, bud. So, stealth action, stealth plate. Yes, sir. On the shreds. Is this the first time you're riding this plate? Ever. Brand ever. New. First time ever. You've Brand had new. these. You've had these for like what? Two, three months now? Since the skate came out. I don't know, I've just been, I've been afraid to skate them, honestly. Um, the creates, where the, where the H-block is, it does not line up, as you can tell. So, I don't know, I just, I just, I did yeah, not. let's look, let's look at that, that line up. I didn't, I, I just, Turn, I, That's your inside, let me see the uh, outside. I mean, it's not, it doesn't line up at all. So, it's definitely going to be different angles for my foot. Yeah. And so, but the idea with these plates is, and this is what Clark said, is it, it lines you up the way you're supposed to be. Now, I feel like that's subjective as fuck. I mean, it's subjective because <laughs> everyone, people do the same tricks slightly different. But these are more in line with like how the M12 is set up, and also the way that we, when we skated back in the day, your foot naturally would go to that position of that angle, especially with like Royales and things like that. We're talking like 1996, <laughs> you know. And, and I'm a creature of habit, so once I find a setup, I skate it till I either can't purchase those parts anymore, or I can't, just something happens and I, I can't replace it. That's one thing I like about the factions, is all these parts are replaced, but I don't know, I just, I've been scared to try this, so. All right, well here we go. Oh God. Conquering fears. Oh God. All right, let's start out with ones that don't require <laughs> the backside play. Let's do soul. Do all that you stuff. Do, okay, soul first. I'm gonna do all my soul tricks first, and then we'll go into the ones where you're on the side of your right, word. All right. Super smooth. So it's funny, like this is the plate that a lot of the faction guys are actually riding. Like Eric, this is what he skates. This is what he prefers. And, and does Cam ride this one now? I, I've seen it on. I think he does both. Actually, no. I think he's on the 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 shreds, the gray ones. Okay. He might be on the black ones. I really think Eric. A lot is, of people that got the white skates swapped out and went back to the. But see, that's fine if you've never skated a faction. You don't know what your what the differences are. So I completely understand how they would just get them out of the box and go. But being as how I've been on the old plate for nine, you know, eight, nine months, this is a completely different setup. Yeah. All right, uh, Mizzy. They 
they still slide fast. So, so slide is good, right? Five on speed. All right, now we get into the moment part of truth. that was scaring the crap moment out of me. Moment of truth. All right, I'll do back far. <laughs> that was probably fear more than anything. <laughs> Good. It didn't feel bad. Okay, let me do one more. It didn't, it didn't feel bad. I don't think I was in the groove though. You're not. You're not in the groove, but not. you're not. <laughs> like you. Could you're not at all in no, the groove. No, you. I'm like right here. No, you're not even there, dude. Where am I? In like, the front. Yeah, you're right there. That's where, yeah. Oh my God, Clark, what the hell? <laughs> That's a back far. Maybe a front far would be different. Maybe a, Roy a Royale's gonna, a Royale's gonna feel real different. All right, let's try a front Royale. <laughs> let's, oh my God. <laughs> Your voice cracked. Bye, bye. <laughs> let's, try, let's try a front Royale. Yeah, that's scary. It wasn't so bad. I don't think I'm catching the groove at all. No, so one thing I noticed when I tried these out, I've, you know, I tried these frames from before, they're frames, soul plates. You gotta angle your feet forward. So point your toes forward. Okay, let's try, I'll, I'll, let me try backside royale. I'll come back and do uh, front royale again. And then let's try that back far again, because I, but, but keep in mind where, where it's at is generally where it's generally where this one is. So I'm not unhappy with that. It just means that I'm used to my foot position being there now. All right, let's do backside rail. That one looked good. That one felt good. Once again, I don't know if I was in the plate, but that one felt good. All right, let's try front side rail again. Okay, so one thing I noticed looking at your skate is you're not like your boot down, but you're not in that pocket. You're like on the pocket, like on the outside. Yeah. So put your foot up. Okay. So when you're doing it, you're not here. Okay. You're not all the way back there, but you're here. Okay. So you're 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 in the groove. You're where you want to be, but you have more space to go back. But it's that, I don't know. that wax is very telling because the original is right here. But but that's the thing. It's like it's not like you're well keep not up. it's not like you're not boot down. Like you're boot down, and but, you're doing a royale the the proper way. So I'm basically hitting it like I would hit this, but I have obviously room for error here. So even if I'm just a bit off, I'm gonna slide right back to that spot. Whereas this, it's not. Well, no. The thing I, I think the thing is I think the thing to think of is you don't need to be in that pocket. You don't need to have your foot all the way back where that where corner of the ledge is sitting there. You're boot down. If you're going large, you're doing it just fine. If you're going for a really long ledge, then you need that to be able to for balance purposes. I think if it was this ledge was any longer, I get to a point where I probably would start to rock one way or the other because I'm not in a groove. But I don't know. It was an interesting thing to look at, and I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing the video so I can slow it down because it's it's neat to see how you were sitting on it. What do you got now? All right, so uh, I want to do a back farb again. Okay, because they were garbage. Yes. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say they were garbage. They were garbage for these sole plates, because I wasn't in the group. Don't blame the sole plates. Once again, I don't, I'm not in the group. Well, you're boot down. So what does that mean? <laughs> so. Is that good? Is that bad? I don't know. I, I mean, mean your boot, it means you're doing it, it right, slides. right? You're doing it, you're locked, you're everything you need to be. You're just not in that groove. I'm just not used to the groove. But I don't think, but I, look, but okay. I, I don't know any better way to try to find that groove without doing the trick differently from but, what I normally but, do. But that's the thing, I don't think it needs to be done because you're, 
you're just on a different part of the soul plate. You don't necessarily need to be in that pocket. You're boot down. The whole goal is to be boot down, right? Yeah. But uh, but what I'm saying is we can't attribute that to the soul plate. It's only attributed to the fact that I've done that trick so many times I know how to do it. But it has nothing to do with this. But I, I'm not saying it, it, it's the required part. It's hard to explain. Okay, so I so far I've like, had a very like difficult time. If we were time. playing a game of skate, it would count. Correct. Okay, so then you did the trick, and you did it textbook. Like you know me, I'm a stickler as a motherfucker. You're not, you're not not doing the trick. You're just not in that weird little corner pocket, but you're doing it, and you're doing it just fine. So I think it's safe to say that it doesn't matter where this backside plate is. Somehow I'm making it work anyway. <laughs> I think that this plate is designed in a way that it doesn't matter as much. I mean, is there another trick that I can I do? Think, I think that there's less rules with this plate. I think that's the best way to say it. So like with other plates, it has that pocket. You have to go in that pocket it, because there's sidewalls that come out. These don't have those parts that come out. It's just kind of flat and streamlined. All right, so I want to try a backside unity. Okay. Because I feel like that is another one of those tricks that you'll really feel if you're in a pocket. Okay, I like that. All right, get it. I I don't know. <laughs> it's a it's kind of strange, huh? It it. it I mean, it definitely felt different from the other ones, but like, I really still don't think I'm even really touching. I mean, there's a little bit of wax here, but I don't feel like I'm really, I'm not using the, the, the sole plate like it was designed. I think you are. Or am I? Maybe Clark, I leave, Clark I think, leave a comment. I, th <laughs> <laughs> I think it's more kind of like, kind of think about like a freestyle frame, okay? Mm -hmm. Where it doesn't have a set groove. It's just kind of one big open space to grind. I think that's kind of the way you got to think about this soul plate. The groove is elongated. It's not just that pocket. Now you, you definitely, this is definitely set up where more of your, the front of your foot is overhanging. If you're in that pocket, you're definitely more of an overhang. Mm -hmm. whereas, which is great for balance. Which is good now, but I'm, I'm used to being like dead center. So from a weight distribution, I'm always in the middle. So, I mean, it would take, it take a little while to get used to it being a little bit farther back. But, I mean, other than that, I mean, speed, everything was great. Obviously, if I'm finished with the skate, is perfect. Um, I, don't yeah, I, don't think you, dying. I don't think you would know a difference if you got factions for the first time and they had these plates on it. I don't think you would necessarily notice a difference. Sweet. All right, I'm going to change the batteries, and we'll, I'll give my last bit. Okay. All right, Chris, it's your turn, buddy. Yeah, my turn. All right, so I would assume on the sub, it's fit and finish the same as the other plates? Better. Better. This is a five. This fits no problem. I wouldn't have to adjust that uh, that little slider piece. That would stay in place. So this is a five fit. Interesting. Fits perfect up to the Seba. No problem whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> you just come up with that on your own. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah, I'm, pr I'm, I'm proud of that actually. <laughs> Mo better for the Seba. All right. Let's get some tricks, bro. What are you All doing? Right. Uh, we're gonna same, same, yep. same old, same old, same old, same old run. Ooh, they slide good. That, I felt my hips felt really tight on that one. Now, you you've used these before, right? Yeah, Ooh, twice. Okay, so they're not fresh. Twice, fresh like but mine. but keep in mind, so. One time I used them when we when we skated Shaw. That was a bad skate day for me. That was a bad skate for all of us. No, you skated great. Oh, at Shaw. Sorry, I thought you meant uh, Charm. I'm like, yeah, no. No. <laughs> was like, we yeah, haven't been at Charm. Shaw was good. Yeah, so Shaw, I skated him at Shaw. For me, it was a really bad skate day. I tried skating flat. It didn't work. I was having massive knee pain, blah, 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 blah. And then I think I tried to skate them here one time or somewhere else, and it just it just didn't work. Guys, Chris and I remember things very differently. So if you want to see Chris's skating at Shaw, go check out my very first video. As far as I'm concerned, 
Rosemary Chris was doing some pretty cool tricks. I wasn't doing it. Apparently, apparently did an alley of soul better than me, and it's on video, so you guys, you guys write that. <laughs> you guys go write that. My first video, go check it out. <laughs> Famous. Okay, so so you you're familiar with these enough. You've done them enough. I uh, it, I've skated it, but I don't think I've I gave it the same amount of attention that I gave um, the other the other sole plates that we tried earlier today. Okay. So I didn't give them like a little, not a lot. Yeah. Okay. All right. So here we go. Sole grind. I might I might try another Mizu again just because that felt like garbage. How's the slide on those compared to the other ones? Slide's good. Yep. Yeah, it's a five. It's, it's a good slide. Very good slide. All right, so you want to try another Mizzy? Uh, or do you want to do something else? Yeah, no, let me, let me try Mizzy. I'm going to try both of them again. Okay. That felt better. I think I was sitting too long. Legs the, tightened up. Tight legs. Yeah. Toy, like a toy. Alright. I think it's less the plate and more me that's having an issue. I'm gonna go on to the other stuff, but right. they feel good. They yeah. feel good. Let's come back to that sole later. Yeah. All right. Back far. Oh my gosh! It's me. Not <laughs> <laughs> better. That was a good one. It was solid. It's okay. This kind of feels like. This feels more like the Seba plate. Okay. Like it almost feels like a mix, so far, it feels like a mix between the Seba plate and the Faction plate. It's a nice... Minus the groove location, because the Seba was similar to the original Faction. Yeah, but it's, the Seba one's wider, the Faction one's tighter. Yeah, that's true. Back front. Sounded good. <laughs> Sounded good. Sounded good. I mean, it felt good. Didn't feel much different. I don't know if I'm boot down though. You want to do it again? Obviously, looking through this little finder, it's kind of hard to tell. Um, I can, if you do it again, I'll, I can watch it outside. But I, dude, everything sounded sounded good. Looked good on the on the monitor. <laughs> now with the Royale, I remember this sole plate pushing my feet into a more forward position so I'm curious at how it'll feel here. Okay. Didn't quite get in it. That felt like garbage. Didn't quite get in it. Yeah you're gonna have to do that one again. Alright, back far first. That's good. No, I, well, or you might have pulled a me, and you're not. No, my quite, feet. My feet were like. Were they angled? On the ledge, angled forward, which maybe that does put you because I could feel. I could feel. I felt that right there. You can see I touched it too. I think. Did I? I like maybe a smidgen. Just just like with mine, like it. If I did, if I did get it, I didn't get it by much. There wasn't much weight in that pocket for I feel me. like we're definitely giving factions a little bit more attention <laughs> uh, yeah. than we did the other ones. Well, the other the other plates all had backside grooves that are basically in similar spots. Like, yeah. they were all shaped similarly. Um, Depth-wise, they were all similar, except for the Sebas. No, not the Sebas. Uh, the uh, gods. The gods. The gods. Those are, oh, god awful. <laughs> um, gods awful. Gods awful. <laughs> Obviously, we can tailor this down a little bit. <laughs> no. 
We love you, Becky. I speak it how it is. If you want me to praise your product, make a good one. There you go. <laughs> All right, going for that uh, Royale again. Do it. It's, it's not bad. Try it again. You're gonna tell me if I'm boot down. Okay. I'm gonna do one more fog. Let's do it. I'll tell you if you boot down. Yes, definitely boot down. I got it in the shot. That one started having the same problem that God's did. I was putting too much pressure on it and the frame started to lift. I could feel it started to get a little squirrely. Yeah. You were definitely booed down, though. Yeah. And if you guys don't think... I am think curious what this would feel like on a rail. We should have another day on a rail. I mean, I wouldn't mind trying it on that rail. No, 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 no. no. I'm not doing that. Oh. Like, like the Sub Rosa. <laughs> oh, okay. Or just anything curved. I think I think the experience will be different on a curved ledge versus a... Next time we go to the compound? A, huh? Next time we go to the compound? Yeah, at the compound we could do that. I think that's that's probably the best Ferris comparison because that's going to give you the most. Your your foot is going to have to try to find that balance point yeah. on a rail more than on a ledge where it's flat, and you can just put pressure on any point of your boot and it's going to keep you in that spot. So that would probably be the better comparison. All right, one more Royale. We are not doing all the plates again though. So. And then final thoughts. All right. I'm doing it right. Like I don't feel like I'm doing it right. I feel like it's me. One more. One more. Uno mas. All right, Chris. Why don't you give us your final thoughts on these plates? Um, they feel good. They slide great. Um, Farves feel really nice on them. Um, I would like to almost, I would almost like to go from like this back to the, back to the other faction and like back to this, like right. over and over and over again, because, um, yeah, I think the faction, first place Actually, you know, we'll talk about this together. Am I recording? Did I hit I did hit record. I was like, I didn't see it. Okay. So, let's, where to get started. So, so the, <laughs> so the gods are my last one. They're the number five. Going in order from five being the lowest to one being the highest. So these are, these are, not you didn't my even get to skate choice. them. You didn't even get to skate them. But just because of that, they made it to the bottom. <laughs> like I, I do not like to change stuff. I don't like to have to manipulate stuff to make it work. Like it either works or it doesn't. And since this didn't work, then it doesn't. Okay. So I'm not far behind you on that. Actually, of of all the plates that we did try, this is my least favorite. Uh, the required maintenance to get it to work is not worth the reward. The effort's not worth the reward. What's the phrase? I don't know. Um, it's risk versus reward. Doesn't make sense. But anyway, um, yeah, they just weren't. They didn't do. They didn't slide that great. They fit okay. Obviously, these are the only ones that I fell skating. You know. Um, so yeah, these. I remember liking these when they were on the uh, USD Seven. Uh, it's the only reason I really skated the USD Seven. But uh, yeah, as a, a universal plate or as a plate used on other boots, this is a no bueno. So sorry, gods. Better luck next time. <laughs> um, we'll 
do the Seba plates? So for me, Seba would come in at number four. Um, I think I gave it a good rating for speed. Yeah. Um, the the fit was a little off in the sense that they they got on there. There was no manipulations that had to be done. Um, but I feel like if I went to a slightly larger size to make that easier, it probably would be too big for yeah, my we, size boot. We put it on there on your boot, and it was massive. This took the longest to get on, just to get the bolts to line up, yeah. and everything like that. But like if you modified the plate, you'd fit it better on the factions. But it so was... yeah, so I, I get put it at four mainly because of that, and I just don't think that there'd be a really good sizing of this to fit correctly. Yeah, no, I agree. Um, I, I do kind of agree, and, and I would actually put this as a four as well, uh, which is weird considering that it's the stock plate. You'd think that the stock plate would be the best, but I've always kind of had a little problem with these plates. I don't know why. They slide great. They fit well. They, they look pretty good, but they're made... Like, this is a 44 to 47 plate, okay? That's a huge uh, space. This, is a 40, this one's a 41 to 43, which is only two sizes. This one's, what, four or five sizes? That's massive. So on the large shell, this is ridiculous. They really should have a plate in between this. I remember putting these on my 44s and they fit with a little bit of effort, but um, they were ultimately too small for the 44 and this is just way too big. So that's Seba's fault for not making another sole plate size in between. I mean, you can see the gap on these is huge. Yeah, that's like that's ridiculous. So, you know, that's Seba's fault. Um, they slide good. They fit pretty good. The, I remember the back far felt good. The Royale felt okay. It's got a similar backside groove to what we're used to skating. So yeah. I mean, though, all, the, the, it's a little bit bigger. They all have that kind of in common. Is they're in similar locations, so it's gonna feel, you know, like a normal type of trick. Yeah, for you. that was good. And I do like the fact that Seba has the multicolor. I wish more companies would do. So I, I know it's a cost thing, but like, I wish they would do more multicolored. Sole plates, frames, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So, I mean, you can see the groove on these two is very similar. You know? So, the faction groove versus the Seba groove is not that different. But, obviously, the plate shape is pretty different. And size, too. Because that's the faction plate that would fit on your size boot. So, this is a 44-46. So, that's that in-between that, yeah. that Seba needs to have. Yeah, correct. This shouldn't go all the way to a 47. They should have a 47 plus. I think yeah. faction has an XL sole plate yeah um so but yeah and you can see that wing isn't that that bad you know sticks out a little bit you get used to it you don't yeah see you it. do you don't see it's it. fell over here oh. um what's next symmetrics so i actually put the symmetrics as my number two um speed was amazing um it was super fast um, backslide plate is in a similar sp space to what I'm used to, so it's more centralized, so it works well, well with my Create Originals. So these are my number two. Yeah, I actually I agree with you as well. I think this this definitely is a number two. The the fit on the boot is a little weird, like these weird cutoffs of the frame. I, I find I just find that kind of strange, and it looks strange on the boot. So that's one of my only drawbacks. Um, Again, as I said, these plates are a little bit thicker, so you may need uh, longer bolts. I would actually like to try it with a longer bolt. But uh, they slid amazing. They slid like, you know, as I said. And everything lines up. Liquid like it, ice. They, these went on like as if it almost like the stock plate. Like it just, everything lined up. Everything just screwed in real fast. Like these were the quickest out of all of them, I think. Putting on. Oh, they, yeah. No, they, well, quickest put it on, but I also think they slid the fastest of all of them. I, I would say that, yeah. These are, are faster than the factions for sure. Yeah. It's the fastest plate, period. Yeah. Yep, yep. All right, but so. Fastest isn't always the best. Let me uh, take off a boot here. We can talk about the blue. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> we're holding them. We're just holding them. We're up. like, oh, yeah, where's, I'm like, where's yours? <laughs> oh, he's wearing them. Okay, so for me, I put the stealth plates. Um, so I put the stealth plates as my number three. Um, so three for me, sliding, everything was good, just like the standard uh, faction plate. Um, I think for me was the inconsistency or having to relearn how to get in this groove. Cause like, even as I'm looking at this, I, I, I might've touched it a few times, but I don't feel like from what I'm used to as far as foot positioning, 
in a back far of a Royale, I think I would have to relearn some of those tricks. Yeah, I think I think it's safe to say. I mean, if you look at how you normally would do it on uh, with the normal sole plates, it kind of goes straight. Your boot would sit like this, but these, your boot turns if you want to sit into that pocket. So yeah. that's awkward. Yeah. You know, but I mean that'll put more pressure up on that wheel. You have a little bit. I, if anything, it probably gives you more grinding surface area, which is probably pretty good. But I don't know. This is something you have to get used to. It's either something you like. If you've ridden M12s, you would love this. You would love this plate if that's something that you're used to. Um, I might keep riding it for a little bit because I'm kind of intrigued by it. I do like the new shape though. Like uh, having it's, it it's back clean. here and curved it's super off, clean. it just kind of fits the skate a little bit better. Yeah. It's not as protrude, uh, protruded out, but once again, you don't even see that on the, on the regular ones because you're not looking behind your skate. <laughs> Correct. Skating, yeah. So, but. Yeah, people's hang up with that fin makes no sense to me anymore. But I get it. I had the hang ups too. But yeah. anyway, so number three for me. Yeah, three. Is that number three for you also. Yeah, also Man. three. I think we we're kind we're of on the, the same, same page. On everything? Yeah, and then the faction plate, uh, the the standard faction plate. This is oh, I've really worn down that edge, haven't I? <laughs> I'm looking at the two of them. Uh, yeah, a, for me, for so look at that. It's it's almost time to get. Yeah, you need to get some new ones. <laughs> Yeah, so for me, definitely number one uh, for a couple things. So um, slide, slide's great. The fact that the backside plate lines up with my Create Originals, so I've obviously gotten used to the boot down position that way. Um, the other thing that uh, I like about these is the, the connection points, so where everything's connected. And obviously the stealth is the same way, but like I just feel like because it's got the eight connection points, it's a lot more solid on the skate, and it makes you feel like it's part of the skate. Yeah, I do wish that I had that with riding the Sebas. And the faction plate, I may try to install little uh, rivets to see if I can make it a little bit more solid, but not all of them will fit. I've lined it up, it won't, that, not all of them will fit. I could probably get like six, but that's about it. Um, but yeah, no, this is definitely the most fun grinding plate that there is. I think that, that's kind of period. Everything, everything locks well, everything slides well. You, you almost feel like you can hold stuff for days on this thing. And so. I mean, even though from an aesthetic standpoint, people might not like the wing on the back, I think if you're getting back into skating, or even if you've been skating for a while, it gives you that additional confidence that you're not going to slip out of something. Mm -hmm. I didn't have that feeling necessarily on the stealth, so the other ones, but like, I feel like it's just more like that, that in your mind, you're like, oh, it's so much wider because of this, and then you just go and you're able to land stuff. So. Yeah, but is it really that much wider? Like, that's the wrong way. <laughs> Obviously, there's going to be certain tricks that you might notice or not notice over So, others, like, with the symmetrics, it's, like, a hair wider than the symmetric plate. You know, I don't know if you can see it on the screen. I mean, it's, you're talking, like, I'm talking about, like, from, from the front of the boot back to the back of the plate. You've got such a flat, consistent area all the way back. Yeah. That, depending and on you can see what the... you're trying to do, it, it's going to be hard not to lock that trick the size difference of these two plates. So this is number one, number two. Yep. You know? Okay. I should probably take off the blue so we can hold them up to each other. Which plate is that? Intermission. Power tools for the win. All right. All right, so holding them up, lining up the holes with these, you know, you can see the differences between them. Minuscule, looking at the... It's not a difference on the main section where your you know, plate is, where you're going to grind. It is different in the back. Yeah. But yeah, you can see, like, the groove starts here. Technically, this is groove right here. Correct. And that's it's just a long. And groove. that's literally where I was. Yeah, you on can see primarily. that we're still contacting in the same general area. So that just comes down the to whether plate. you've skated it, how long you've skated it, getting used to it. I'm, I personally, am just not used yeah. to it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna start riding this in the bowl. I think it's gonna work out well in the bowl for the blues. Hello. 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 How are you? Okay. How are you guys today? Good. Doing good. Good. All right, so I think that, I mean, 
if we're if we're both, I mean, obviously we both we, we skate together. We know uh, kind of how each other's skating. I'm actually a little bit surprised that we that you put the symmetrics as number two, but I mean it makes sense. So I mean I think we're pretty consistent with how they feel. I think that that's uh, you know. <laughs> um, so yeah if you have any questions about it please comment below uh, any statements any other frame any other soul plates you think I should have tried or maybe I should try or have Josh try or any of that stuff you know comment below share your thoughts ideas uh, you know tell me what I was doing wrong and why why my opinion is stupid Right. These are all opinions, right? Yeah, There's no all, right or wrong answer. You yeah. got to try them for yourself, but this is just a little quick overview of each plate and what you can expect. Yeah. Tell me, tell me why the faction plate is terrible and uh, why they shouldn't have made that wing and all that other stuff. But uh, either way, uh, that was a ton of fun. Yeah. Uh, I want to do that. Was, that was a lot of fun. But um, yeah, please like, subscribe, and uh, I'll catch you guys later. Bye. Peace. And I will never do this again. <laughs> <laughs> How y'all doing today?